Good morning and welcome to Newswatch Today. I'm Emma Armstrong. And I'm Morgan Pagel. Today, hear about the bold decision of a Wisconsin judge. And the daring rescue of over 100 missing children. Brayden Nelson is here with your forecast. And Sadie Chisholm has your latest sports news. This is Newswatch Today. Joining us this morning, right now we have Braden Nelson giving us a first look at the weather. Thanks, Emma. First of all, happy week of Halloween. We'll get to the weather, what's going to be on Halloween, so you can see kind of what, you, what you're going to do that day. But first of all, let's look at the current conditions. So this past week, it's been quite rainy, and we're going to continue that at the moment. So it's a little bit rainy at the moment uh, with about 42 degrees. Uh, we have a very high wind chill with about 22 miles per hour. So it's pretty crazy, 90% chance of precipitation. So it's quite rainy. It's quite cold at the moment. Later today, you can expect more of the same with about 47 degrees. The temperature won't rise too much. It'll be a little bit cloudy, and, uh, and we have a 100% chance of precipitation, but that should be the last of the rain for this week. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of like sprinkles here and there, but tonight it's going to be mostly clear with about 30 degrees, and we won't see too much rain after that. So that's what we got going on currently. Patients of a psychotherapy clinic in Finland have had their information stolen. Data from sessions taken with Bistamo, a nationwide practice with about 20 branches, has been leaked. These patients have been contacted by an anonymous person threatening to post these private sessions online if a ransom was not fulfilled. The ransoms ranged anywhere from 200 euros to 500 euros or more. Bastamo, in trying to make up for the leak, are giving all patients one free session without the session being recorded. Now, one of Evangel's student organizations, The Hope Project, and their mental health symposium. The HOPE Project is an organization of student advocates for mental health, and for the first time, they hosted a two-night mental health symposium. It took place on Tuesday and Wednesday, October 27th and 28th. It consisted of two panels and a Q&A session at the end of each night. Speakers included Dr. Heather Kelly, Dr. Brian Upton, Melissa Sundwall, and Debbie DeRosset. Attendees learned about stress management, how the Bible acknowledges mental health, overcoming trauma, and identifying healthy and toxic relationships as well as dealing with them. Not only did students gain knowledge, but it was also a chance for another chapel credit. Sweet treats were provided as well as cookies and brownies. Altogether, it seemed that the night went very well according to students and the HOPE Project's own members. I think the event went really well. There was a lot of interesting questions asked and I enjoyed the speakers tonight. Especially because mental health isn't hardly talked about um, nearly as much as I think it should be, especially on a Christian campus. Um, I definitely think that this is a really awesome outlet for us, especially to um, not only get our name out there, but also to just help students understand more about themselves and uh, to grow in different ways, you know? I think it went really well. We haven't ever done this before, so we weren't sure how many people were going to come, but we had a really good turnout, so I'm very pleased with that. This is the first time that this event has taken place and the HOPE Project is hoping to make it an annual event. To keep up with the HOPE Project's events or to get involved, you can visit their hub page or check out their social media. For Newswatch, I'm Emma Armstrong. Thanks, Emma. A jury found a man guilty of kidnapping his ex-girlfriend and forcing her into the trunk of her car in Marshfield in early 2020. The victim fears her kidnapper will soon be free as the jury recommended only a three-year sentence for the kidnapping charge. A judge will sentence Christopher Ford in December on the second-degree kidnapping conviction. The crime happened back in February. Ford attacked Young with pepper spray as she was going into her car. Young escaped at a Springfield gas station after she found a trunk latch and pulled it. Ford was later arrested in Mount Vernon. A Wisconsin appeals court issued a temporary block on Governor Tony Evers' restrictions on indoor gatherings Friday, even though COVID-19 numbers in the state broke records for a second day in a row. Tavern League in Wisconsin has argued the capacity limits amount to a de facto closure, order for bars and restaurants, and sued to strike down the order. Fox News shared Governor Evers' tweet, which is the following, quote, 
We will once again defend our limit on public gatherings, and I'm once again asking folks to rise above tonight's ruling, stay home, mask up so we can get through this weekend and pandemic together. This crisis is urgent, folks. Please stay home, end quote. Coming up next, Morgan interviews Hope Project co-director Carrie Thornhill. And a lost boy becomes found. All that and more, next. Books to page 360. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Talking about inspirational quotes. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Adventure can be found anywhere, but the best place to start is in the forest. I spy something beginning with S. Snow? No. Snow-covered trees? Nothing to do with snow. Head outside to discover incredible animals <laughs> and beautiful plants that come together to create an unforgettable adventure. Wow. So grab your loved ones. Don't even. And explore a world of possibilities. Come on, this way. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the closest forest or park to you. children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. Made about Arkansas absentee ballot rejections were dismissed by a judge. The suits were made by the League of Women Voters of Arkansas, and they included requirements of Arkansas election officials to give absentee voters a chance to fix their ballots because of signature issues. U.S. District Judge P.K. Holmes denied the motion on Monday, October 26th. In Iowa, Boy and his dog went missing. With the help of another furry friend, they were found unharmed in the woods. The two-year-old and his dog were found by K-9 Kilo and Officer Dwayne Kemna. He was sitting on a cinder block over half a mile from his rural home.